All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this indexing fixture in for your uh, Langmire Systems Crossfire Pro. So, this is what I got here is a tongue and groove type of fit. Got slotted holes. And you can kind of see I've got corner reliefs. That's very helpful if you're uh, making things and you want them to fit together. Make sure you relieve the corners. That's going to make a big difference. So every single time you do a uh, a slot and tab type of uh, connection make sure you have extra clearance all the way around and you relieve the corners so that's the strategy I did down here as well you kind of see all the tabs are relieved like that so anyways now I made these one and a half inches um, this way because it's two by two tubing and I want them to be adjustable So I've got slots so slots are sized for uh, 1024s or 1032s So this is going to hang into the actual cut area and then I'm going to set my plasma cutter to zero zero and I'm gonna do a straight line cut on the bottom and a straight line cut at the top. So this will actually be um, when you put a piece of material up against this edge it will be an actual zero so i'll be able to throw parts on there um and uh you know index them quickly now this is not going to go the full x or the full y i don't need a full x i don't need a full y this is just going to get in my way this is 24 inches by like 12 inches so this is just to line things up in the corner i don't want something hanging all over my um my table also I've got a jack bolt hole right there in the corner so I'll put a quarter 20 bolt in there and a double nut and uh, that will just rest on the inside of the, uh, the water table anyways let's check out the uh, nested file that I've got and I'll show you guys the program for that so I've got a nested just like that and you can see I'm alternating from inside to outside. You always want to do that. If you cut all the insides first um, and something moves, you've just wasted a whole bunch of material. So that's the plan right there. We're going to go cut this and weld it together and bolt it on. We'll see if it works. All right, so there's the program. We've got it opened up in fire control 20.6. Um, this is a great release. Some of the previous two I was not a fan of, but let's get her cut. Might be cut a little bit slow, not sure. Anyways, most of you guys, you know what this looks like. You have a Crossfire Pro, you've cut a ton of things. So I'm going to not bore you with all of the cutting. I will show you my, my uh, speeds and speeds. So, um, I'm at 26 inches a minute. I could have sworn I programmed it at 40, but it's going a little bit slow. So, 
sometimes if I want high accuracy for slots, I will I will run it a little bit slower, but that's a little bit slower than I normally run. But anyways, we'll be right back in a couple seconds. All right, so I've got the first one welded up partially. Um, and then this is the setup for welding up the second one. I've got the magnet holding at 90. And then I've got my little jack bolt here holding it at the right height. Now the key is I'm going to tack right here on this face and then back here on that face because if I tack on one of the sides, it will pull it side to side. So I'm going to tack there and there first. That way when I tack over here, um, which is I'm just going to do a very light tack, it shouldn't overpower these two. Then I'll do an equally light tack on the other side, and now it's solid. It's not going to, you know, move. Now, if I'm welding and I hear a pop, like one of those tacks break, well, then that's that's an issue because then it's going to be crooked. I don't like things crooked. So, anyways, this thing turned out pretty nice. Um, so, I'll clean that up. I'll get it put on there. And then I'm going to do a straight cut, trimming that way, trimming this way. And then we will be good. Good to go. So it's what I got to do. I've got to set up some BA shredders and I got to cut the logo into them. So in order to do that, I need to index every one. So. All right. So we got it welded on. We got that side. They're welded on. Now it's time to mount it. All right. So there it is. Um, except for I measured perfectly to the bottom of the table. <laughs> oh my word! Talk about a massive fail. Um, but hey, I might even show this on the video. So, I measured from the top to the bottom, right? And then, uh, I, that measurement, you know, I was pretty on. And then I offset my plate to the wrong side that was supposed to be to the bottom of the plate and um see i was measuring in here designing in the house i even came out and double checked the number was still the same but i just uh yeah so anyways gonna have to modify that or i make a bracket that goes on here and then bolts to that but i really don't want to do that the whole point of this is supposed to be simple and um so I just need to move it up an inch and a half and uh, we'll be golden. So, All right, so now that it's all done uh, and I've made my straight cuts, I can locate the edge and the bottom and I can come in here knowing that this is my zero and I can uh, engrave my BA Shredder logo. And I could drop uh, pieces of square tubing in here, and I could cut holes in specific locations. I could put anything in here and put it up against this and this, zero the machine out, and cut, and I'll know exactly where I'm going to hit. Also, if you're cutting apart and it gets bumped, you just put it back against the stops, and you're good. Now, I don't need the whole machine. To me, that's just wasted material and a lot of extra effort. This thing is rock solid, made out of quarter inch material, um, fully adjustable with the slots. I'm going to throw this onto the Bex Armory um, website. It'll be in the DIY projects section of the products. If anybody wants the CAD files, go ahead and swing over to Bex Armory and get yourself um, these uh, files if you like. A lot of you guys are plenty smart enough. You don't need my files. You see what I did. You can do the same thing. It's not tough. Um, but I'm here to help out if you don't have the 3D uh, capabilities. That's cool. Um, I can help you out. <laughs> After I mounted it, I came to zero zero and I did a Y cut um, 
up against the uh, the X stop and then I came down here and I was up against the Y limit and I did an X cut so it is exactly where it needs to be um, and I didn't even use the jack bolt in the corner because it's so rigid I made it out a quarter inch um, so it's rock solid um, just use a self tappers that you know are used everywhere else um, on the table and uh, overall pretty excited I was able to lay parts right on there and cut my logo into the parts 